Okay, I've just reorganized my uh, my shack here and I thought I might just give a bit of a demonstration on one of the um, aspects of this which is allow me to monitor four receivers through a common platform and uh, do some comparative, just some comparative off-air measurements. Um, currently this is uh, obviously the old uh, SP600 Hammerland and as we look to the rack to the right we've got the, the Rakel assembly which I did a bit of a talk on before uh, and as we go through there you see a few things have changed. I've now got a uh, so Waller Technologies 4 input broadcast um, broadcast audio system. So you've got uh, 4 inputs and uh, above it we've got the uh, RA1772 and then the RA6790. Now they're all tuned to the same frequency and uh, currently uh, 20 meters is open so what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll just Settle it down on the camera on the uh, the unit there, and you have a bit of a listen because uh, it's interesting to switch between uh, these four different generational type receivers. Okay, the band is dropping off a little bit, but you can perhaps hear some of the audio. Now the left and the right switch here because they're actually two halves, but you need to gang them to uh, get some appreciation of what we're listening to. Okay, so this is a. Uh, an SP600. It's tuned to uh, this, this frequency here, 142440. And uh, the receiver is just down here. It's, it's feeding, in, feeding in through the back. So you can see the bar graphs of each of the inputs. I've tried to balance them as best I can. All three systems are running 3 kilohertz bandwidth. So let's have a bit of a listen. So this is the SP600. Oh. This is the RA-117. And uh, 6790. I'm hoping the camera will pick up the audio. Go back through them. 1772. RA-17 Actually RA-117 And the, uh, the SP-600 SP-600 is actually uh, manually game controlled uh, And all the other three receivers in a slow AGC setting Not sure how it's coming through on the, the camera I'm hoping we can pick up the audio Some of a few, few hertz off, it's just hugging. I have one sister younger than me, and he was the next third one. So, I'm going to go ahead and get the three kids. RA117. Yeah, three kids. I have to lie. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get the three kids. So, that wasn't very good. RA1772. So, and what you say there, 47. Well, look at the. RA6790. Uh, 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 RA all the receivers are hooked up through the, the multi-coupler unit at the top of the rack, which is a um, Stancom multi-coupler, 16-way. Two, four, four. As we go down through it, you'll we'll see that the RA-17 is. Keep calling an RA-70 is RA-117. That's it. Now it's actually uh, being driven right now by the synth. And I hope you can see that it's actually one and a half kilohertz high just for your upper sideband. That way I can do the three kilohertz bandwidth. So let me zoom back a bit on this. So this is the, the setup we've got here. And I'll just zoom back a bit here now. So it's an interesting, uh, interesting that you're looking at 19, 1950s vintage, 1960s SSB. 1970s SSB 
1980s SSB. So uh, you have to determine what you uh, like the best. Some have a, a slightly sharper filter. This seems to be the sharp filter. I can see that the, uh, the level here, because of the manual, still not too bad. So that's the uh, RR. That's the SP600. So again, position one SP600. Position two RA117. Position three. RA1772 and position 4 is the uh, RA6790. It's a poor base in the, the 6790. It's a bit more, a bit more tighter on the 1772, as you can hear the skirt's a bit more selective. I'll just try and pull it back down a bit. Anyway, let's pull the audio down a couple of hertz. Hamelon SP600. So just interesting, uh, while I was doing this I thought it might be uh, worthwhile putting something up on YouTube just to give a, a comparison for the 1950s, 60s, 70s and 80s.